Hey guys, what's going on? Coming to you with another video today. Before I get started, make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. I know this is going to be a really, really, really big stretch and reach, but I want to try to get to 200 subs before the end of the month. So by Monday, if possible, just share with your friends or hit the subscribe button, uh, hit the like button. It might, you know, it's super, super appreciated. I really um, do appreciate every subscribe or every comment. I reply to all of them basically. So today's like a really, really, really important video. Uh, I feel like a lot of people need to understand this and people that are new to the market or are just starting to play the market, it's super, like this is one of the most important videos I think I've made uh, to date and it's really important to understand. So I hope you guys uh, really appreciate this video. I, it, it has some really good stuff in it. So. Before I get started, I'm a long-term investor. I like growth stocks. Uh, every Saturday morning, I post my four focused stocks this year. I stay true to that. I give you guys updated news. I tell you when a good time to buy, sell, what I'm doing. I post videos every single uh, day when I buy a stock. So without further ado, uh, I wanna get in this, uh, this, like is a stock market crash coming basically? So that's. Really, you know, the stock market crash is used so loosely and it depends on where you're at, who you're talking to. It's, it's, it's such a loose term. Do I think a stock market crash is gonna come? Uh, me personally, just, just to start this video off, no. I don't think a crash, like, like last year this time or coming up like about four weeks from now, like sometime in uh, March, it re like it took like a 30 or 50% dive, maybe, no, probably more than that. And uh, it all happened in like a month, which I believe is the record, the fastest it's ever dropped percentage-wise in, in, in history. So I don't think another crash is coming to answer that question. So I wouldn't be fearful or panic. So that's my opinion. What is the difference between a correction and a crash? Well, that, that, that basically says, you know, hey, this, you know, a correction is somewhere between, I consider a correction like 20, you know, 10 to 20% would be a correction. A crash is somewhere between like 25 and 50%, like, or plus, but usually it's between 25 and 30%. So I don't think a crash is going to come. There's just so much, like, I, you can predict things now. The Fed's going to keep printing money. The Fed's going to backstop any kind of stock, stock market, massive volatility. Stimulus checks are still going to come this year. We know at least one more is coming this spring. Uh, things are starting to open. The, the thing I can't talk about has a vaccine. So like, you know, everything is going well. So like, why would there be a mass panic in the market? Yes, things are overrated. Some, some stocks are very, you know, overvalued right now, especially in the tech EV, uh, you know, all those things, uh, option trading, like just SPAC stocks. A lot of them are super overvalued right now. So you wanna be very careful when you buy something. So if you've watched my previous videos, you'll notice that I've only bought, I bought actually two stocks and bought one Friday and one yes or yeah two days ago uh, when the market went nuts. So that leads me to the next thing. Uh, you know why the market did what it did. What was it Tuesday? It opened up super red. Every one of my positions I think was down basically between ten and thirty percent. It was like out of nowhere. And I made this video today because I wanted to see what the market did Wednesday to see how it reacted to that. Just because everybody made videos Tuesday night, like saying, oh my God, this is a big deal. Like, okay, cool. Like there's so many videos out there, but I wanted to make the video to see, okay, let's see what a full day does after that crazy movement. And then I'll let you guys know my thoughts. So this is why I'm making it now. So what leads to those big panic sells like Tuesday morning, in my opinion, I think a lot of stop losses were hit and I think a lot of new investors had fear because they saw it drop 10% and they just saw it drop 15% and they saw it drop 20%, even like 30%. Like Tesla, for example, went down $150 per share. Like that, to move a company with that big of a market cap is ridiculous. Like so many people panic sold. And ARK Invest, ARK Invest took advantage of that, by the way, today, which is why it bounced back, or yesterday. So. Uh, don't blame them. So they're putting their money where their mouth is, but that's a whole nother topic and story. But anyways, I think a lot of inexperienced people got scared and they sold and people like myself, I made a video yesterday or a couple days ago that I bought Tattoo Chef. I averaged cost down. So I took advantage of the situation. So it was below my cost base by over double digits, like 
12 or 13 percent yeah i bought more drove down my cost base guess what it bounced back so that's just kind of how i do it i don't look at it as i don't get scared because i because i understand what i'm buying and that's why it's super important to get or research what you're buying you got to believe in what you're buying just don't go off you know buying a stock what someone else says or something like that because then when things go south or things like this happen like a correction that happened you know tuesday afternoon you get scared to sell and then guess what it bounced right back so you just don't want to get in you, you want to get this out of your mind why it happened i think a lot of noobs aka people less than one year of it you know investing on their belt they got scared so i think that's what caused that crash panic and then people that understand what's going on or have money on the side like i've been saying in a bunch of my videos i have over 30 percent cash on the sideline so shit, i'm gonna use it if it drops that much you know obviously like i'm gonna take advantage of those deals so yeah new people less than one year that's why i think will primarily happen there this is why it's so important to buy good companies no matter what the market does or if it goes down 10 20 30 40 50 percent if you're invested in good companies with a good, you know, future three to 10 years out, strong balance sheet, good, good management team, someone that could make it through really anything like all these companies that made it through what just happened last year, I feel like that's going to be one of the hardest things that they would have, you know, a lot of like restaurants, hotels, uh, you know, a lot of industries got smashed, restaurant, um, if they can make it through that, they'll make it through anything. So don't think they'll go bankrupt or anything like that. This is another reason why when things like this happen, I don't day trade, I don't swing trade, I don't do options, I don't do penny stocks, I don't do any of that because I know long-term, no matter what happens this year or next year or the following year, say you're in a slight dip for months, weeks, years, or whatever, I know long-term these companies will bounce back and I'll be in a better position than where they're at. So that's why I really believe in long-term investing, getting in good companies, Every video I start my videos because I don't know if you guys are new to my channel or not. I, I, I am a long-term investor and this is a prime example why I'm a long-term investor. When the market goes down like it did Tuesday afternoon, morning, you should really get excited about it. Like that's a really good buying opportunity. So if you're looking at getting into a stock or you're in a stock and it's below your cost base, you should really look at that as opportunity. Like if you liked it at this price, if you liked it at $100 and it goes to 90, why wouldn't you buy it at 90? Because you like that at 100. That's how I look at it. So it's, it's, you, you should really get excited. So either, there's two kinds of people. If you know what you're buying and you understand the market and what it's doing, you get excited. If you're just buying stocks, other people say it, you do no research, you don't know what you're doing, you get, you get fear, you get scared, and then you sell. So there's two kinds of people. And I feel like in the market right now, there's more inexperienced people that just listen to someone and as I'm saying this, you're listening to me probably, so it's kind of ironic that I'm saying that, but you should always do your own research and you know, you should really get behind people that know what they're doing. You know, I see a lot of people on YouTube that don't even, they just say, oh, this stock's gonna be hot and they saw it on Market Watch or Robin Hood top 10 this week. Like that's, that's silliness. You don't want it. don't get involved with that. Like AMC and GameStop, now nah, I'm good. I was laughing at people that bought that stuff a couple weeks ago in Wall Street bets and they shot like I was just on the sidelines watching like I'm not getting involved in that it's it's silly stuff like you, you're, you're gonna lose you know how many people lost money in GameStop when they bought it at two three four hundred dollars like dude they got smoked went down like 50 bucks so anyways yeah so that's a whole nother story too but uh triggers so that's I already talked about that I think a lot of things were hitting losses and triggers and all that so led to selling people need to understand that the market always has volatility and if it didn't, it would be bad. Volatility is very good because when it goes up and down a lot, like it just did Tuesday and then came bounce back Wednesday, you know, that gives you deals. So you're you're getting deals in the market. Whenever it goes down a lot, just make sure you always have cash on the sideline. So whenever I start a position personally, I buy it three to six times, right? So my four gross stocks that I make every Saturday, I started buying them this year and I've already bought you know, a couple of them a couple times. So like I'm preaching what I'm saying, you know? So you really just want to get in good things, take advantage of the crash or correction, and uh, you'll come out on top in the long run. I, I, I really believe that the formula works. It's not a new secret thing of, you know, way of investing. Let me just see where I'm at here. <laughs> 
Okay, yeah, I need to hurry this up. But anyway, so yeah, great deals, good deals. I don't know what I was saying there. Uh, my thoughts on 2021. So I think there will be another correction. I think they were just testing the waters. Be prepared, have cash on the sideline. Uh, obviously, I'll make videos when I buy anything or sell anything or voice my thoughts on anything major. Like I said, I wanted to get this video out after the correction day. We had a green day today. It all recovered back, basically, and we'll see what happens at the end of this week. So without further ado, like, subscribe, comment below. Again, if I can get to 200 subs by the end of the month, that'd be much appreciated. Share this with a friend, hit the subscribe button. I know it takes two seconds, uh, and it goes a long way to me. So thank you. Peace.